What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome back to our North Texas Dynasty. Welcome to week 11, the most important week in North Texas history. Well, maybe not quite that much, but we're playing UTEP. They're pretty terrible, but they are also bowl eligible. But that's not the important part. The important thing, look at all of these visits we got going on this week. Notre Dame had their visit with Ford last week. We're still in the lead after that. They got a 1485 bonus off of that visit. But we're still in the lead, and now it's our turn to get a visit. Scott Hardy, we're actually pretty close. We could even commit him this week and not have to worry about Georgia Tech breathing down our necks. That might barely work out. Reggie Brown, I don't even know. Oh, no, USC's going after him now. USC already stole one recruit from us. Now they're coming after the next one. Clark, they're breathing down our necks again. Moody, we got him locked up. Beck, we got him locked up. Anderson, yeah, we're going to have him. Quinn, we're just waiting. Oh, wait, the Juco Tackle wants to visit. We can bring him in this week. Four swatted passes, two picks. Three sacks of the D-line, doable. Two TFLs, probably gonna happen. All right, so unfortunately, I did level up, but I cannot put points to the kitchen sink because I was only level nine going to level 10. You need at least 10 points in your recruiting tree. But I did get the skill where everyone gets a 100 point bonus for visiting this week. So at least that'll help. And like I said last episode, I did bump the quarters up to seven minutes just to give us a little bit of bonus. See, overall, we beat them in every single category. 250 pass yards, 100 rush yards. That's all we want. I really want to impress some of these skill guys, but the important thing here is the offensive lineman. I hate when there's a blocker that meets me in the backfield. I hate it. I hate it so much. Because you feel so good. You're like, oh my god, I got back here. No one blocks me. I'm going to get to the... And you're stopped. And then sometimes that happens where you get them anyways. Unfortunately, I think they want the TFLs to come from the D linemen, so it's not helpful. There we go. Those are definitely the D linemen. Oh, he recovered. He got us anyways. Definitely want to get some of these running yards done early before they start run committing. No, don't mind me. I'll just keep running it up the gut. Five yards of carry. Already at 34 yards in the first quarter. Oh, I wish I could audible to a running play right now. I regret this immediately. Oh, never mind. Darden's wide open. Throw Smith on and out, out and get Smith up the middle. What? Third and seven. Defense. Time to shine. Thank you. These defensive linemen are going to sign in a second. We're not impressing the uh, cornerback, though. It's a good thing we don't need to. Nope. There you go, Smith. That's a highlight reel run right there. And he's almost done rushing it on the day, too. Now, here's one thing I do want to check. How many broken tackles does he have so far this game? He has credit for zero broken tackles, but you just saw him break two on that run alone. I don't understand the stats in this game. Why do I feel like I can get Rico wide open here? I feel I feel bad for Smith. He keeps marching the ball down the field, and then we just throw it in the red zone. All right, next offensive drive. I think it's time to uh, let On do his thing. His new thing, not his old thing. His new, his new thing. I think next week I'll put it back to the 50-50 sliders. But for now, I need these stats and this win and these recruits. Come on, Davis. Like, they couldn't have made that any easier on you, bud. Ooh. Three sacks. Yeah, the defensive line came to play. Ha Hamilton with his second sack. We are just making them look silly. This would have been a good spot for PA Smash. All right, yeah, I don't want that little hitch on Bussy's route there. Oh, that was a clean blitz. Shoot, that just ruined everything. I love how much they panic when it's fourth down and long, or third down and long. They're like, oh my god, we have to go four verts. You can't do anything about it otherwise. It's like, no, I could run a slants route and probably get that, but okay. Whatever makes you happy. 
Oh, come on, Alberding. You were wide open. There's no excuse for you to drop that other than the fact that you're a 68 overall. Ports out to Smith. He's upset that he didn't get to do anything last week. Okay, so wait, in my defense, on breaks out that sack, I pressed X right about here. No. I pressed X, nothing happened, and I had to press X a second time in order to get him to throw that ball. I'm surprised he caught it. But if he had thrown it the first time, it would have been a touchdown. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure these are two of the worst teams in all of Division One. Like, I might actually stand more competition playing an FCS team. I believe they are this bad. That's why I can't figure out how UTEP is 6-2. Alright, let's see. I got a blitz coming over there. That could be good for Lawrence. That's real good for Lawrence. Good play. Nobody wants to cover Smith. That's fine. I'll take that. I don't think this is going to work. Not with that blitz they got coming. Alright, so it seems like we got this in the bag. We also get ball to start. Defensively, I'm... I'm not gonna try. I'm not expecting anything out of them. As far as, def you know... We haven't swatted a pass yet, so why would I think we're gonna start now? Nope. Wow, Gaddy and Whitlock blew that. Wow. He broke off both of them. That never happens. No, I blew the tackle again. I hate when I do that. Gaddy on the blitz, though. Got him. I think I just took him out of field goal range. Yep. And they're just going to waste it. You guys have a timeout left. Just blitz him. That was a mistake. And they got one second left. We'll sit in the field goal block. Can we maintain the shutout? No. All right, there's my 100 rushing yards. One milestone down. One to go. Now, they should buy on this PA smash. I do have eight yards rushing on them. No, it didn't work at all. Not even a little. I'm not throwing five picks a game, but I am still good for that one bad read, apparently. Now, I am contemplating for next season whether I should stay in Conference USA. I know I said I wouldn't move up, and I'm not going to go to the Big 12 or anything. But, in real life, UConn is leaving for the Big East next season. And there's no Big East in the game, obviously, so they're going to leave the American, from what it sounds like. Doesn't sound like they're still going to be playing football there. They might just become an independent or whatever. So I'm wondering if I should have them leave and have North Texas take their place in the American. Again, a small upgrade, not a huge one, but... When you look at who we've played in this conference, even going up to Heisman, I mean, I'm winning 28-3. They're probably going to score a touchdown here because I keep ruining things. Yeah, maybe we got it. I don't know. I feel like one of these days, these blitzes with a linebacker might work. But for the most part, it just seems like all I do is occupy the blockers. And leave someone wide open over there, like that. Alright, well, we stopped them, at least. Well, at least our defensive scoring is going to go up. Oh, there we go! Can you do it, Lawrence? Can you break it? No. I thought that was going to be the one. And Busty snuck between the two of them. Do I dare run PA Smash again? Yes, but only because I can do that. Slide? Who is supposed to be... Is it supposed to be the safety that's covering him? Or are they playing a zone? Because it just seems like they're not covering him. You just ran right in the Noville. 
That guy was calling for the ball while I was right on top of him for coverage. I wish they would have thrown it to him. That would have been my best chance at a user pick so far. I don't know how Darden got that. Genuinely. I don't know how that worked. On with five touchdowns already. Wow. And one more pass for first down, and he's got the 250. And we can just go ahead and chew the clock. There it is. Pass for 250. We have met all the recruit requirements. Except for winning it. Don't let me find a way. They were expecting a read option there. That is that seriously what happened? They were expecting the read option. Okay. I just let the computer play defense there. Nothing happened. I think they gained three yards. Yeah, like my backups are in and everything. It, it's over. Come on, bring the blitz. Bring it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. And Tori got thrown in. And we're going to go for two because... Might as well go for a 50. Do I dare run the same play again? They just got a 75-yard run. Are you kidding me? We just blew all of that. I hate you guys so much. All right, so there's not a ton of difference between On and Martin as far as when I'm playing as them. So in case On ever goes down, I guess we're fine. There's on with the player of the game. Who would have seen that coming when he was throwing five picks against Texas? Oh, don't tell me we're going to be right there for points before a level. <laughs> if you didn't allow that 75-yard touchdown, we would have held them under 10 points, and we would have gotten a level up. Okay. Let's advance the week. Let's see how the visits went. Hopefully we see a bunch of commits pop up right here. Fingers freaking crossed, because we got FIU next week. So those win streaks about to come to an end, I think. Now we level up, because I'm guessing we signed some guys. Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, take that, Georgia Tech. So we got the halfback locked up. 800 points from the left tackle. He didn't sign, but he was pretty far away from it. 300 from Reggie. Gerard committed. Beck committed. Still a recruiting battle with Ryan Quinn. That's okay, we got the left tackle. And hopefully the other left tackle soon after. We're locked out by him, that's fine. Recruiting battle, that's okay. 64 overall D tackle committed, 65 is ready to visit. We are technically slightly better than FIU. They've got their punter visiting, we gotta screw them up on that. Alright, so now we got about 2,000 points to play with the recruiting. We're gonna put our point into kitchen sink for 50 extra points. And we're going to focus on the guys we already got. And then from there, we'll add some new recruits to the board. But that'll wrap it up for this episode. Next time, I will show you the full recruiting board and exactly what we're doing. And whether or not we're completely screwed on some of these guys. Because we might be. We didn't get as big as bonus as I was hoping for. We got some offensive linemen coming. We did get the halfbacks. So we got one guy. I don't know what I'm going to do with him next season. Nick Smith is going to get the reps. I don't want him to transfer. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to hit like down below. Next time, like I said, too, we will have the sliders reset, so there'll be more of a challenge going forward. Hopefully no more of these blowouts. I'm expecting a loss to FIU. If you want to see more North Texas Dynasty, if you want to see more of the Buffalo Bills franchise, be sure to subscribe down below. Daily videos every day in August and possibly beyond if I can maintain this. Although I have a feeling after I record this video, I'm going to go watch Avengers Endgame a few times. Be sure to hit the bell down below to get notifications of every time I upload. Leave a comment down below letting me know. Maybe I should change some of these guys' nicknames. Maybe I shouldn't have Scott Hardy. Let me know. Any sort of gear you want to see on these guys when I edit them, I'm going to keep the team as they are for the rest of the season. But next season, any of these freshmen, I will change their names, their equipment, their number, whatever. If you guys have some suggestions. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.